In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make presets of your component values in Unity, as well as how you can set them to be the default that are applied automatically every time you add that type of component. This can be very handy to improve your workflow so you don't have to constantly copy values from different places. And it also makes it easy to standardize settings across a whole project with multiple people. So to create our first preset, let's create an empty game object. Now I'm going to add a light component. So now we have a game object with a point light on it. And I'm just going to set it to be a red color. Now what we can do is click this little preset button here. And this will bring up the preset window. So to save a new preset, just click Save Current. And then we just need to give it a name. So I'm going to call this one Red Light. And then hit Save. So now if we click that preset button again, you're going to see the Red Light preset. One thing to note though is presets are component specific. So if we click the preset for transform, you don't see this one. You're only going to see transform presets here. So now that we have that red light preset, if we create another empty game object and then just add a light component, if we select the preset option and click red light, all of those settings are now applied. When creating a preset, it does actually become a asset file in your project folder, as you can see here. Similar to how prefabs work, since you have an asset file here with all of these settings, you can click and drag this into the hierarchy and it will create a new object with those settings on the component. Unlike prefabs though, presets do not have any link to the object themselves. If you have existing objects in the hierarchy that you created from a preset or applied a preset to, and you go and you make a change to the preset, so in this case we change it to a green light. So now the preset file itself has a green light, but if we select all the objects that we applied it on earlier, they all still have a red light. But if we select and apply the preset, now it goes back to a green light. Basically, you just want to remember that a preset file is presets for a specific component, not an entire game object like a prefab would be. So this can be very handy for something you constantly add to your scene. In these cases, a light or like I was saying, a, a rigid body because the settings are usually very similar and you have to always change the defaults. In a moment here, I'm also going to show you how you can set this as a default so it automatically takes these settings. Now I'm going to create another empty game object here. And this one, I'm just going to add a camera component to. And just so we know it's not the default one, I'm going to change the, the background to be a solid color and just set it to a black. I'm just going to create a preset for this one. And I'm going to call it black background cam and then hit save. So now we have a light and a camera preset here. One thing that's super handy is you can select both of them, drag them into the hierarchy and it will automatically create a game object with both of those components and the presets applied to it already. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a nerd for these little things. So the next cool thing about these, since they are assets in your folder, you can actually select all your folders that contain these presets and you can actually export them as a package that you can use for any of your Unity projects. So if you tend to use the same similar settings for a lot of projects, this could be a very big time saver. Another thing worth mentioning is if you go to edit and project settings, a lot of your project settings you can make presets out of as well. So in this case, your physics matrix and all your physics settings. If you look at the top, it does actually have an option for setting a preset here. Another very handy one you can set presets of is if you go to your tags and layers, you can set a preset here as well. For setting up default presets, let's go to Edit and Project Settings, and then select Presets Manager. Just to note, you can actually make a preset of this manager as well. If you click Add Default here, it'll give you different options of categories. So there are importers, so you can actually set it for things like the Audio Importer, where it'll actually change all the audio settings on import, and as well for FBX Importer for models. And another common one that I can think of would be your uh, sprite importer as well as texture importer. So you could set all your default values you want for your project, such as like pixels per unit, compression settings, all of that can be set as a default that's automatically applied anytime you import one of those assets. Now let's go back to the previous screen here. Just click that X and select component. Since we already did an example with a light, let's add the light component here as a default. 
whatever component preset you set in here, that's going to be the default one that loads when you create a light component now. Let's select our red light presets and now close this window. Just to make the changes a bit more obvious too, uh, let's select the red light preset and just change it from point light to directional light. Create an empty game object and let's add a light component. And now you see the default values are from that preset. So we, we have a green directional light now. Let's duplicate our red light preset and I'm going to call this one green light. Select the red light preset and let's change that back to a red color. So now we have two light presets, a red light and a green light. Let's go back to edit project settings and under preset manager, click the plus to add another light preset and let's change the second one to be green light. So now we have two different presets in here, red light and green light. In the filter box, type in green light. Case does not actually matter here. And this is the filter that's going to look for the game object name. Close the project settings and create a new empty object. And let's add on a light to it. And you'll notice it's going to be the red directional light. Now create another empty object and we're going to use that name we put in the filter. Case does not matter and it can be anywhere in the name. So just to show that as an example, I'm going to call this one red, green light, red just to show that the name can be in the middle of a string. Now, if we add a light component to this one, you see it's the green directional light because in the file name, it sees the, the green light in there and it automatically takes that from the filter. So just make sure you're careful with what name you pick for the filters because something like using UI, which could be in the word guide or any other word, could cause unintended filters to be used. Let's go back to project settings. And if you look here, the order in this list does actually matter. So the last one on the bottom will be the one that gets priority, in this case, green light. So it'll start from the top. Basically, it'll look if no matter what, it'll apply red light. And then you'll look through all the ones with filters. And if it finds one of those filters, it'll apply that preset. I'm not sure if there's a limit on the filters, how many you can add, but you can add quite a few in there. So one thing to note, if we go and make a new light object and select point light, and I'm going to name this one green light. So because the object was already created before it got named, it doesn't actually apply a preset there. But if we select reset on the component, it will apply the correct presets to it now. So that's the quick 101 on using presets and default values. Hopefully that helps out some of you guys there. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. If you have something you find presets would be very helpful for, please leave a comment below and it could help some other people out. Thanks.